you see that now it is not very well known, but there was an organization. We had a military organization in the camp and it was formed. Well, there were, there were two ter uh, theories, you know, there was a prisoner by the name Surankevich. He became later the prime minister of Poland, of communist Poland. And he claimed that he organized, you know, his underground, you know, in the camp. And he, together with some of the communists, there were communist, you know, uh, prisoners who mostly uh, Austrian communists and some German communists. And they say they formed, but this was very, very small. You know, it was blown out of proportion because the communists took over power in Poland. And that's why, you know, and he was there and therefore they, but the real organizer of this was a Polish captain. And his name was, his real name was Witold Pilecki. But he was in the camp under the assumed name of Tomasz Serafinski. And he let himself be captured in Warsaw and brought to Auschwitz. And in Auschwitz, he organized, you know, the underground movement. And he was an army officer, a reserve officer. He was a, a captain in the Polish army. And uh, he was married. I think his daughter is still alive. And... Uh, he wanted to know and to report to the under, uh, to the organization underground and to London, to our government in London, you know, what's happening in Auschwitz. And, you know, if anybody wants to tell that they didn't know what was going on in Auschwitz, it's not true because there were many, you know, uh, uh, couriers who went to London and of course, the Polish government, you know, in, in exile in London, shared the information with the British government and of the, the British government shared the information with the American government. And so they knew what was what was going on, especially, you know, the an, an annihilation of the Jews. He later escaped with another prisoner, with the two prisoners he escaped. And he went to Warsaw. He fought in the Warsaw Uprising. Then he came and I met him when I was in, in Italy in the Second Polish Corps and he was going back and forth to Poland and he was captured in Poland and accused of being a spy for the West and he was tried and, and executed, you know, executed by Serankiewicz because he didn't want any, you know, because he wanted to be the hero and he was in power because he was the prime minister for Poland at that time. So that that's a whole story. It's a lot a lot of story to to it. I don't know whether we have time to do to tell you everything.